Hello everybody, my name is Albert Nan. Today we are looking at Funnel Air, a new SAS that is offering a lifetime deal at the present moment. Let's see what we have today. Okay, today's agenda is I will do some introduction that I have done and we go through Funnel Air overview. After that, we go to the back end of this Funnel Air on a funnel builder or you call it a funnel planner or funnel mapper after that we'll try to do a demo using the page builder which is the claim that it is a free form builder and let's see how it can work out after that we go through the pricing as well as the pros and cons after that then we do a conclusion so without further ado let's go to the back end of the oh no before we go that, we should go to the Funnel Air overview. Okay, this is the website of this Funnel Air. As you can see, the website is very clean, smooth and slick, I would say. Okay, what is Funnel Air? What actually it does? Okay, there are actually two things that they will do. Firstly, is they build funnels and they do automation after that. This is the website where they will tell us that what is the page builder like and they have claimed that the page builder is very fast and it's really a free form page builder. We will go inside the, the back end have a look and there is a desktop version these are the features or the call it element that is in the page builder uh, i would i would say that it's quite complete in the sense that you have everything you need to build a page or to build a funnel in particular and these are the element dynamic text and uh, you can have what you call split testing you can put in videos you can put in a sticky shader and footer. Let's go to it later. Okay, what is it for the final builder? You have four what they call important things that you can do. First, you can use it to map up your funnels to collect leads, that is lead generation. Secondly, you can sell digital products or you can sell physical products. And you also can do events. For example, you have a webinar, you want to host an event, you can do that. Okay. The number one question that we want to answer today is whether Funnel Air will be the number one alternative to Click Funnels. I think everybody knows what is Click Funnels. They are very famous and they are, I would say, the number one funnel builder in the world. And in this page, you can see that uh, Funnel Air has listed out what are the pros and cons of the Funnel Air against Click Funnel. Okay, without further ado, let us go to the back end first because it will take up too much of a time to go into the website. You can browse that later. Okay, in the left hand side of the Funnel Air back end, you will see a dashboard we call it a menu on the left hand side where you can build your funnel this is a page of the funnel you have different funnel then you can have automation you can build your automation here and you can do broadcasting whatever list that you have uh, collected or what you call a lead capture is all listed in the in the what you call back end of the funnel air then you can set up your custom domain here yeah. and these are the apps that is uh, uh, integrating with them at the present moment they have quite a substantial number of apps that is uh, being added and for payment professors uh, for payment processor at the current moment you can add stripe and paypal for other gateways you can do a lot of uh what they call uh, email marketing software for example, you can add SendGrid, MailGun, 
or Amazon, or if you want, you can also go to connect your final ad to MailerLite, uh, ConvertKit, all those famous uh, email marketing software. Okay, let's go into the final first. Okay, these are the two funnels that I have built, but we are not going to do that. Let's go and build a new funnel. Okay, to, in order to give a new funnel, you just click here. Okay, when you create a new funnel, they ask for a name or a group. And these are the funnel that you are able to build right now. As you can see, you can collect email that is a lead generation where you uh, collect the name or the email or the person that is uh, subscribed to your the website and you can do a sales funnel or you can do a product launch and even a membership and you can do a live uh, webinar funnel and also a webinar replay funnel and of course some custom funnel which i think uh, you can add in your own steps okay let's build our funnel let's give it a name let's say test three and we'll say that we want to collect the email Big Jan. Okay, let's go to the this clip now. Okay, this is the funnel where you have to give your name, your email, and all the uh, addresses that you use. We just put some uh, dummy numbers or dummy text. Country, okay, let's put United States. Okay, by the way, all these are dummy uh, tags. So, just for demo purposes, let's create the final now. Okay, it's spinning. So, while well, we create a funnel, we can have a look at uh, other things. Okay, as you can see, during, uh, inside the dashboard, you have uh, these three main things. Okay, you can create a funnel, you can create automation and send your podcast. These are the three main things that you can do with uh, uh, Funnel Air dashboard. Okay, I think the funnel is created. Okay, so just now I told you that we are going to see look at what is the funnel mapper or call it funnel builder. So this is the way you map up your uh, funnel. For example, just now we are choosing a collect leads as your funnel. So collect leads means you opt into a page where you give in your email address or your name. And then after that, after you click or submit your data, you go to a thank you page. Okay. So these are the very simple demo that I will do that is to create a funnel with an opt-in page plus a thank you page. Okay. So let's go and build the page first before we can do anything. Let's give it a name. Any name will do. A path is a URL behind your custom domain. Okay, can you can see that there are many templates uh, behind the back end and I have brought through all the templates and I do have a feeling that these templates are clean and smooth and easy to, to look at, you know, uh, not too complex, not too simple. Let's see what we want to, what they call a, a create a sample funnel. For example, let's have a look at this one let's preview this one okay this is the one okay then let's create another one uh check another one okay preview okay this is the one that i'm looking at okay we are going to 
a build of uh, what I call the landing page or lead capture page using this template. Uh, it will be faster to do that rather than to build a template from zero. That will take more time. So I will intend to finish this uh, page builder uh, uh, to, to create this page within 15 minutes or so. Okay, let's go. We we'll use this page a sample. Okay, let's see how the page builder actually look like. On top of that, those are the various uh, element or section that you are trying to create the page. Bearing in mind that uh, they call themselves a page builder, but of course, I will say that it will not be comparable to full flash page builder like Elementor or DB Builder or Breezy Builder because those are full flash website builder. Of course, you can build simple website using this type of page builder, but primarily they are used to build landing page or we call it build funnels rather than to build a website. So that is the big difference. So you can build quite simple webs, uh, web page for funnel building purposes. And this for in this sample, you can see that uh, all the icons are on, uh, all the elements or function are on top rather than conventionally we have those either on the left hand side or on the right hand side. Okay. So as you can see, there are those these elements are the commonly used element, and it will not be uh, what I call the same as all the big big builder like for example Elementor, where you have all kind of function and all kind of element or all kind of wizard that you have to use. So we just uh, do this and see how it look like. Okay, uh, this is the here. Let's change the here. Okay, we yeah. are copy this text. Okay, so this is a H1 text, and we're going to make it bigger. Okay, maybe that's good. We have to change the color to white okay we got it after that this is a subheading let's copy the subheading can change the color okay okay this is a free form page builder, which means that you can drag and drop whatever element that anywhere you like. For example, you can drag it up and left and right, you know. So let's say we put it back. Okay, this alignment. Okay, we can also clone this one, clone another text, or you can add in a text here. Let's say, for example, we just clone it. We click here. We clone it, and because the space is not enough, we drag. This is the uh, This this section is a, a top section, so we, we want to drag it up, make it longer, and we pull down all the button, the email form. Okay, let's see. What text are we going to put in? Okay, no commitment, cancel anytime. Change the colors. Okay, so this is a lead capture form and we can change we can change whatever uh, the placeholder inside. Maybe we can change it. As you can see, this is an input, the first name, or you can use a last name if you want. But normally we use the first name. The placeholder, you just tap your first name, 
uh, your name would do like right? this say email address maybe we just change your email address as you can see you can change the color of the the text uh, even the, the border color or the family uh, font family what type of font you want to use and the font size so as demo purposes we are not going to change that and for what you call this uh, email marketing of course email you can always put yes or else you will not capture the email okay okay let's go inside okay let's join the course we change the clicks button let's change the text get 30 days of free yoga okay that looks good so you can always change your image as you say if you want the image to be uh, to, to be changed you just click and hold here and you can upload your image here to a folder and rename the folder as well so we are not going to do that okay and you can put uh, what I call the name of the what you call uh, the alternate text so for example you want to put this is the yoga lady okay but this is for this image but we're not going to do that you just for demo purposes you're going to delete this delete okay so as for the image you can as usual you can bring up or bring it down bring it left and right or maybe drag it become bigger or smaller okay so let's change the second section so you can see the line this is the border of the section you can go up and go down so this is another section with the image with the text and also with the CTA call to action let's change the text here Copy. Okay, so okay, because this is not a H1 tag anymore, it should be the H2 tag, and we can put all the tag. Okay, let's uh, do some adjustment first. Put this down, put the second text down. Make it left align. Maybe the size is too big. Okay, this looks nice. Then the sub subtitle or, or second title. This is the. Okay, let's change this text. What text I have at the pack? Okay, let's use this copy okay looks nice we drag this one up okay finish the third section second section we can okay we make it narrower and this is the last section oh before we do that we just have to change the uh, the call to action text first get 30 days of yoga copy okay Make the last last section here. 
let's choose our text first. Text, okay, simple text like this. Copy. My mouse is not moving. Okay, let's change the color. Okay, looks good. Maybe we just drag up a little bit. Second line. Okay, stream hundred of expert. Lab. Okay. Copy. As usual, we need to change the, the, the color. Call to action. Mm. 30 days of yoga. Copy. Click. Of course, you, you can put in some sub, uh, another subtext below the text. For example, you just put free. But I'm not going to do that just for demo purposes. And you can change the color of the background. This is a background color, which is about a bit red. Okay. Let's go. Okay. For the footer, you can add in your other things. You know, this is a disclaimer. So I'm not going to touch that. But uh, I can, I will tell you, we can actually delete it, but I don't want to delete it. Let's see. We save first. So let's preview. Okay. Yes, this is good. Okay. As you can see, there is a watermark here made in a uh, final air. But so if you want to, to get it of the watermark, you have to pay minimum $495 to get into the, uh, the higher plan. Okay, let's go in. Okay, we finish this one. Okay, before we go into the back end, the, the dashboard again, because for all the landing page or the funnel pages that you build, it must be what they call a responsive in different uh, devices. For example, this is the tablet and this is the mobile. Okay, when you click the mobile, you might see that some of the alignment are not there. For example, the CTA form, uh, lead capture form, and we can always change that the the size of the the font and the positioning and all this. You can also see that we can always do that, no problem. Well, click this down. You know that we can change the H2 text become smaller instead of 32 pixel. Okay. In the tablet, this is the Thing that you can change as well so but we are not going to do that here but just tell you that they are able to do responsive design in this funnel air okay let's go to the desktop view again save okay so as you can see this is a very simple uh, uh, page that we have built within 15 minutes or so so let's go to the final, uh, we leave this, uh, this page first. Then we go into the build a thank you page. Okay, what is loading? Let's uh, have a look at what uh, the pricing of this, uh, or no, is loaded finish. Okay. Okay, let's now we do a thank you page. We build a thank you page as first. Okay, thank you page. Um, five. Let's say T Y five. 
Next. Okay, you can see that whenever you want to do something new, new page or new uh, funnel, you have some template for you to choose. Of course, you can build from scratch, but now we are not we are not going to do it because you're going to have to spend a lot of time doing that. Why not we choose some nice looking thank you page? I saw that just now. Uh, maybe this one. Let's preview. Okay, this is a very simple thank you page. Let's see what is this. Okay, so okay, this this thank you page is actually uh, what they call a uh, uh, also lead. Uh, the customer to design uh, to to enter the detail to claim the webinar okay we are not going to do this i think we should use this this looks nice okay let's go and use that where is the thank you page uh, this is the one just click use it it will load okay yes this is a thank you page we are looking at maybe you just to change it you know change the company name expert yoga LLC change the phone or oh, maybe we change the wording Thank you for registering 30 days free yoga. Thirty days. Okay, let's choose the font that is matching to the earlier one. Open Sense Bow. Okay, this is H1 tag. Okay, let's group. Okay, this thank you page will tell them that no, no, check your email, confirm your order. This is uh, ready to go, which means log into the account. And actually, this is a very perfect thank you page that we can have uh, for our funnel. Just save it first. Okay, have a look at the template view. Mm, this is perfect because we don't have to do anything because all the elements are laid out properly. Let's see the mobile view. Same as the mobile view. Yes, right. Okay, we can preview it before we exit. Okay, this is a test mode. Yes, good. Okay, let's go into the dashboard again. We have already saved. Where is it? Okay. Okay, we are in the test three. Okay, just now we have built this opt-in page and this thank you page. Okay, there are many uh, features that you can add. Actually, we can also do some uh, A-B testing if you want. Let's say maybe we go to do some split testing uh, on the landing page. We can add a, a, a page. Okay, so... 
we create from template i think okay let's create from template create a variation let's look for a good page mm, oh this is the one okay we can get rid of the logo or maybe we can uh, hide it just hide it first okay so our version b will be a different image but i think the wording we can use back the same let's say use back the same copy And we should choose the correct font as well. No? Okay, you can see that. Oh, yes, okay, here. Choose the correct font. Maybe make it bigger. H1 tag. Okay. Then the second text. okay just now you see that we there's a red border here which means uh these three elements this element this element and this element are grouped together we can actually ungroup it here just ungroup it then when they click here we only amend this element okay let's get the text ready copy Okay, make the maybe make the font bigger. Yes, this is the right one. Okay, call to action. Okay, we need we don't want this. We just add the two button. I uh, know we add a form. The input form. Another form. Okay, the input type will be first name. The parameter is first name. The placeholder, your name. Okay, then this is the email. You will set the input type, email address. Yes, required. No, this is wrong. This is a email. Delete this one. We also delete this one. Okay. Okay, put your email. Email address. Okay. Okay. We don't want to waste too much time. Let's go into. Okay. Below is uh, all the element that we are not going to change for the purpose of saving time. So let's save it and preview it. Okay, that's good. Uh, actually, I forgot to make a call to action, but we can make it later if you want. Let's go. Go back. While it's loading, it should be fast. Okay.
Yes. So when you click this, you have a two variation. So whether you want to direct your traffic of 50% or 60%. So as a start, maybe we just do 50% each. Then we just click changes. Okay, so this is how we build the uh, funnel pages. And I think I will stop here because it will take too long a time to make uh, other uh, pages. And before we end our, our demo, we should look at what we have now here. Okay, introduction we have done, funnel air, we have funnel builder that I will show you, a page builder, the freeform builder. And bear in mind that we are not going to into the automation and also the broadcasting, the other two, uh, what they call features in the app because it will take a very long time to do the demo. Okay, so we have built the funnel, the automation we are not going to do today. And look at the pricing before we, we, we go off. There are actually three plans, uh, 195, 495 and 595. The first plan is the cheapest plan is only for one domain and the other one is for 10 domain and unlimited domain. So for Funnel Air branding, for the first plan you have a branding and just now you can see there is some branding at the right bottom corner. And in order to get rid of the branding, you need to have 495 or 595 plan. So the highest plan is the agency plan, you have unlimited domain where you have 500k impression per month versus 5k impression per month. So all the plans are non-stackable. Okay. Okay. Who should benefit from all this? Uh, what I call this funnel air uh, app. Basically, I would say uh, it will benefit these four group of people. Solo owner, maybe you have only have one site. Then you can choose a one uh, first plan one nine five. You know you are not going to sell to other other customer or as the agency. So for agency, of course, you can choose either this ten domain or unlimited domain. And basically, uh, the page builder inside the funnel air is very uh, suitable for building funnels and landing pages. And I would not recommend it to build your website or your full website because it will be uh, not complete because there are so many things that you cannot do there but as a funnel builder or a landing page builder is very sufficient and for people who are in internet marketers or maybe affiliates who are trying to to sell some products as well you can actually build products in here so let's go to the pros as you say, uh, they are trying to what they call uh, follow the first step of click funnel. Of course, click funnel is a uh, what they call number one funnel builder in the, in the world at the present moment, and they have long history and also uh, very good products, and they have so thousands of uh, what they call licenses in the world. So it's a good for them to try to follow them and. Whether they can take over from them right now, which I don't think so because they are very new. The company is only two years old and we hope that you know, they can perform better so that we can have a better competitor. Okay, what are the pros and cons of this uh, page builder? Okay, I would say that page builder is rather fast and quite pretty, uh, slick. And we have this added version of uh, what they call funnel mapper or builder where you can map out your funnel uh, steps which I think click funnel do not have and there, there are payment gateways really inside you can use PayPal and Stripe and for other payment uh, processor I think they have to add in later and for broadcasting and uh, automation within the app you can do that and you can build different funnel you can build sales funnel you can build webinar funnel you can build quiz funnel and for integration, you have quite a number of integration. Let me show you. Mm 
Yes, maybe we look here better, faster. Okay. Yeah, these are the integration, you know, PayPal, Stripe, Shopify, Active Campaign, Available, Convert Kit, Drip, Ever Funnel, all the uh, MailChimp, Infusion Shop. So they are quite complete, but then of course there are some uh, uh, email marketing platform that are not uh, inside yet. For example, Moosen, Automize. Okay, so if you buy this, you don't have to buy a external card solution. And of course, we know that present moment there are two two card solution uh, is being sold as L, uh, LTD. That is a lead card and also the card fuel by apps so more. So the choice is yours. So some but sometimes if you want to buy a full solution like this, then you don't have to buy any other card solution. Okay. For all the plan, you have unlimited, uh, unlimited list and agency plan at the higher plan, and they are able to do custom domain as well, which means you can uh, link to your own domain name. Okay, let's go to the cons. Limits on impression. I say the first plan, 195, you only have 5k impression, which is rather low. If you have uh, good traffic, very fast, you will run out of uh, impression. Okay, and for the first uh, plan, 195, you have only have one domain, which could be a deal breaker for many people. And they have the branding as well in the final air. But if you do not mind, that's good. And in my personal opinion, uh, the higher plan, 495 and 595 are actually quite pricey. And although they are called agency plan, but then uh, at the present moment, these are consider high price uh, plan and to be frank uh, the company is still new I believe it's only about two years old but the platform they are doing uh, I would say quite good in the sense that you know they, they include quite many integration and the payment uh, gateway uh, card solution is inside okay before we go off we could do a conclusion okay in the beginning, we say that whether is it the number one alternative to click funnel, I would say definitely not yet. They need more time to uh, to do it become better. And I have only tested the funnel building, and in order to do a more conclusive uh, uh, conclusion, uh, we need more time to test the platform. Uh, how robust is it? Uh, can we build the funnel better when we start to selling products? Can we do the automation better? So, but anyway, uh, we can't do it here for for the last half an hour. We have covered quite substantially, but that's all we have. So, if you uh, want to go to into the platform to try it out, you can click this link. This is uh, our affiliate link where you can click it and go to the website and sign up for a, a free trial or you can straight away you can buy it but bear in mind that they have 60 day money guarantee if you are not happy you can always de uh, refund that's all i have if you have any question or you have any comment please leave it in the bottom below uh, in the thread below and we will try to answer it thank you very much